Job, chapter 2, verses 1 through 10. And in the New Testament, the book of Hebrews, chapter 5, verses 1 through 10. Job, chapter 2, verses 1 through 10 reads, On another day, the angels came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan also came with them to present himself before him. And the Lord said to Satan, Where have you come from? Satan answered the Lord, From roaming through the earth and going back and forth in it. Then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? There is no one on earth like him. He is blameless and upright, a man who fears God and shuns evil. And he still maintains his integrity, though you have cited me against him to ruin him without any reason. Skin for skin, Satan replied. A man would give all he has for his own life, but stretch out your hand and strike his flesh and bones, and he will surely curse you to your face. The Lord said to Satan, Very well then, he is in your hands, but you must spare his life. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord and afflicted Job with painful sores from the soles of his feet to the top of his head. Then Job took a piece of broken pottery and scraped himself with it as he sat among the ashes. His wife said to him, Are you still holding on to your integrity? Curse God and die. He replied, You are talking like a foolish woman. Shall we accept good from God and not grow? In all this, Job did not sin in what he said. In the New Testament, the book of Hebrew, chapter 5, verses 1 through, nine, 1 through 10. It so reads, Every high priest is selected from among men and is appointed to represent them in matters related to God, to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal gently with those who are ignorant and are going astray, since he himself is subject to weakness. This is why he has to offer sacrifices for his own sins, as well as for the sins of the people. No one takes this honor upon himself, he must be called by God, just as Aaron was. So Christ also did not take upon himself the glory of becoming a high priest. But God said to him, You are my son. Today I have become your father. And he says in another place, You are a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. During the days of Jesus' life on earth, he offered up prayers and petitions with loud cries and tears to the one who could save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverent, reverent submission. Although he was a son, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And once made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obeyed him and was designated by God to be high priest in the art of Melchizedek. The word of God for the people of God. Amen. Thanks be to God.
he answered the call and that he has demonstrated through his life and through the many services of his life that he answered God's call. And for that, we are eternally grateful. That's why we're here today celebrating the James Armstrong Day. And we thank you, Little Rock, Amy Zion Church, for the good sense to lay aside this the senior bishop of the Amy Lion Church and my daddy. Oh, 
Thank you. 